hi guys today's reading is a love message we're going to take a look and see what the cards have uh for you at this particular point in time if you've clicked on this reading then i feel like it's no coincidence i feel like you've been led here you've been guided to this reading and there may be a message that is intended for you and that is meant to reach you as always guys a reminder it's a general reading if you're after a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire of swords reverse the eight of swords okay interesting hmm. a lot of air energy as we can tell um bottom of the deck is the four of swords more air energy I feel like um I feel like there's there's a lot happening. There's a lot that's going on in the energies here. Um the person that I'm talking to may be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or you may be connected to someone who is an air sign. Your person could be either an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Um the suit of swords does govern mental energy okay um so it feels like there's there's a lot that's going on here but it feels like it's being internalized it feels like there's There's something someone wants to tell you here. It could be a secret that they're keeping or it could be a conversation that they want to have with you or it could be something that they want to share with you specifically, but they hold back. This person holds back. I feel like you could be dealing with someone who, you know, may not necessarily be a good communicator or maybe they're a great communicator, but there's just some things that they can't bring themselves to tell you. This is, and this is interesting because I feel like it's like, they've come close on many occasions but it feels like they can't bring themselves to tell you what it is um this person that you're dealing with the person on your mind here this could be someone that you're in no contact or no communication with okay you and this person um, might not be talking may not be communicating in fact you may have not have heard from this person um recently i don't know the both of you may I think you're still connected on some level with this person so maybe you guys even if you're not talking you may follow each other on instagram or on social media um, or energetically emotionally there's still you know a thread that connects the both of you so even though you guys aren't talking you still think of each other and they still think of you but there's no contact and the fact that there's no contact or no communication i feel like is hurting you or is hurting your person Okay, because it feels like they want to talk, they want to communicate, they want to open up and share something with you, but they just feel like, they feel like they can't talk to you. They feel like they can't talk to you about this, or they um, don't know how to word this, or they don't know when's the right time to say it. I don't know, it feels like they could be dropping a bomb on you. You know, this could be a bombshell, this could be a massive reveal of some sort, this could be a secret that this person has been keeping from you this could be something like you know a confession or it could be like this person has you know still has feelings for you or this person is in love with you and they don't know how to say it and it's just it's it's hurting them inside because there's a lot of inner chaos there's a lot of emotional chaos inner turmoil that's going on but i feel like this person is going through something i also feel like this person is so wrapped up in their head i don't know if it's your energy or the person that i'm dealing with or the person that you're dealing with sorry it's like the i feel like i feel like the person that i'm talking to you might be receiving mixed messages because of the person that you're dealing with because it just feels like I don't know, someone here is like analyzing and over analyzing things, they're thinking and overthinking things, and it's just 
it's hard to tell you know what's real and it's hard to tell what's being made up here because i feel like this person whoever it is is so in their head that they're beginning to construct stories and they're doing it so often that they start believing these stories um this no contact is hurting you and i think it's hurting your person like it's hurting your person that they can't tell you or that they feel like they don't have access to you or they feel like they can't tell you whatever this is um it also hurts your person that they're just not able to i don't know it feels like they just can't express themselves maybe they you know aren't someone who goes around uh, talk and talks about their feelings maybe this person is just um i don't know they could have some like they could have some things going on some like mental health um maybe issues or they could have a lot going on like with their energy um, and as a result you know they may be projecting some things onto you and onto the relationship um, i do think that this is someone who isn't telling you like how they feel sometimes they act the opposite of how they feel which leaves you very confused because you can feel that this person is attracted you attracted to you you can feel that they like you or that they have strong feelings for you but then they act so cold and distant and so detached and then it's like it leaves you confused it leaves you feeling confused because you're like which one is it um and then there'll be days where this person is really sweet very caring and just completely different to you know who they were a day or a week ago and sometimes you feel like you know you don't know who it is that you're dealing with because it's just so there's so many mixed emotions and so many mixed messages but i think it's important for you to know that this person is being isn't being entirely open and honest to you especially when it comes to their feelings so whether they have feelings for you or whether they're losing feelings um they're not being honest they're not telling you um they don't know how to say it they feel like they can't talk to you about this um there's also something here that i don't think you're necessarily you're not seeing okay eight of swords i don't think that you're not so either this person is keeping something from you like a secret that they feel they want to confess but they don't know how to um or it's like you're choosing not to see this you're choosing not to see this because simply put you do not want to see this okay it's happening right in front of you on a subconscious level i think you know the truth i think you know the truth of this connection i think you know what this is or what this isn't i think you know what the truth is but you do not want to see it you do not want to confront it you do not want to deal with it you do not want to address it so you look the other way i know it's a little bit intense but i just feel like there's something you're choosing to willfully ignore but it's and you think that by ignoring it it's going to make it go away but it's building up it's building up inside of you it's building up for this connection it's building up for them um the other thing that's really interesting to point out is that it's crazy but in a matter of days or weeks or even months you're going to be in such a different situation than where you are in now like complete different circumstances like polar opposite circumstances couldn't be any more opposite um if you're feeling confused if you're feeling you know lonely scared uncertain unsure lost you know if you're just feeling so uncertain and anxious about you know what the future holds you're just going to be in such a different situation in, in such a different place with the three of cups you'll be in an energy where you're surrounded by you're surrounded by family and friends you're surrounded by people who love and care for you and you're happy you're happy your mood has shifted something has shifted in the energies i don't exactly know what flips what shifts what happens um but something just changes for you and the suit of swords um it happens quick it's like I do think it has something to do with your thinking with a realization with a belief um with some sort of information because this is the suit of swords we we're talking about here and of course you know your inner world then 
influences your outer world. So I do think there's something here that maybe comes to light, something that you find out, but it's how you deal with that that I think will have the biggest impact on these changing circumstances. And so I think I think that to the person that I'm speaking to, if you are feeling uncertain, if you are feeling a little unsure of yourself, if you're feeling, feeling anxious about what the future holds, um, or, you know, what the cards have in store for you, um, release that, you know, try and release those anxieties, try and release those insecurities, because things are going to shift, things are going to pick up for you, they're going to get so much better, okay, and there's, there's a lot to look forward to, there's a lot of the good stuff to look forward to, there's like, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, um, excitement, um, this is a really, it's like an energy of, I feel like this lacks energy, right? She's stagnated, she's surrounded by the prison of swords, she feels like she's stuck with those blindfolds. He, there's such a flow, there's such a movement, like this lacks energy, this is all about energy, right? So if you feel really low on energy, just know that you're not going to be feeling this way forever and you've got so much to look forward to and something is going to shift. So you may as well start you know making room in your life for that um someone he feels someone he feels like they have to fight for someone's attention or someone feels as though um like your person could feel as though you know your person wants you and they're attracted to you but they feel like everybody wants you too and they feel maybe a little insecure in themselves and they feel like they have to fight for your attention um or maybe you feel this way, right? But someone, like, this is a very competitive kind of energy, five of wands. And this is, there's a lot happening and there's a lot of clashing um, going on as well. Your person could also feel as though the both of you misunderstand each other and you end up in, argue, like, you end up arguing or you end up in conflict with one another or there's a lot of tension. So there's definitely some things to be worked out. And I think a part of this conversation is, I think it's some heavy duty stuff because I do think there's some things that need to be discussed but I think the both of you are maybe have been avoiding it or have been ignoring it but the thing is it's been building up and now it's come to the surface um your person is definitely look I feel like they still there's still some way that they feel they are able to stay connected to you okay so even if this is no contact this person may have you on social media and they feel as though, you know, they still are able to have a connection with you. Even if they're not talking to you or, you know, even if they're not commenting on any of your posts, but they still feel like they can see what you're putting out there. They have a good idea of, you know, what you've been up to, um, you know, what's going on with you. So they still feel as though they're connected to you in some capacity even if it is just emotionally or energetically or even if it is just over social media so your person even though they've pulled away they still feel like you're there or they still feel like you know they can just reach out and you're there there is something about them having restricted access to you though but at the same time they do feel like the connection is still there um there is i do think that there is this energy of like okay there's insecurities there's anxieties and there's doubt in the energy here um, so if you're going no contact with this person, this person feels as though like doubt is starting to creep in. This person may feel as though you're out there seeing other people or you're, you know, you're on social media. You may be uh, meeting new people. You might be on a dating app. Maybe you've met someone new. Maybe you're going out. Um, you know, maybe you're doing fine without them. So this person is having all sorts of feelings. Maybe you've moved on. Maybe you've forgotten all about them. Maybe you don't care about them anymore. So this person is, you know, there's a lot of like anxiety. Like they have all these thoughts and I think it's driving them a little crazy. It's driving them a little mad because what if you did move on? What if you did meet someone new? You know, what if you're, what if you're detaching? What if you're moving on from them? Um, cause I think this person, they have, so you know how I said they, they feel as though they still have a, like some sort of connection with you. Maybe you have mutual friends and their friends update you, like their friends update them about you and vice versa, right? So they still feel like there's some sort of connection, there's some sort of thread there. Um, 
but at the same time there is something in the energies to indicate that this person is feeling a little insecure about themselves and about whether or not you know um you know whether or not they still have you or maybe this is how you feel but there's definitely something key look this could be your energy though something key that you're not saying or something here that you're holding back from uh your person the thing is someone here is not being honest king of swords upside down like that they're not being honest they're not being transparent um look they may not be outright lying to you but they're purposely keeping the truth from you and technically isn't that lying right keeping the truth from you like they're, they're purposely being secretive they're purposely being sneaky shifty shady um i mean you decide because this they may not actually be lying to you right they may not be stretching the truth to you they may not be lying to you but they're purposely leaving something out that you deserve to know and it feels like this person deep down inside they feel you deserve to know the truth they do which is why I feel like they feel guilty. They feel, you know, they feel guilty because they know that they're doing something wrong. They know that they've done something that they shouldn't have. Or they know that keeping this from you is probably not a good idea. Yet they decide to, you know, they decide to still keep this from you. But they do feel a sense of guilt. They definitely feel guilty. But for some reason, I don't know what this is though, it's really strange. For some reason this person feels as though they can't talk to you about this they can't talk to you about what's going on here all right guys and i'm gonna leave the messages there thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by hitting the subscribe button bye